Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take a resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all all right so libra i feel like you have um turned your back on a situation here you've let something go so that the universe can work things out for you and yeah, I'm hearing ready. Some of you are ready to let go. You're ready to move on. You're ready to move forward in your life. You're ready for a long-term commitment or you're ready for your soulmate. Ready for, just ready for more. It's like, I feel like you're, you've, you're at this place where you just don't want to be repeating cycles or going back to the same type of situation, same type of person, same type of job. No, you're moving forward. It's like you have a new idea now or you're brainstorming ways on how to move on, how to move forward. Like you have your, your stuff with you. You're packed up and you're ready to leave. Like you're ready to move on. Yeah, you're ready. Okay. Um, I do see somebody has been super heartbroken as well so the situation has i feel like has hurt the both of you in a way drama queen okay interesting you'll know who this person is because this could be somebody who's been pretty dramatic um or this could be somebody who's kind of in the spotlight or gets a lot of attention or just like wants a lot of attention. But through this, the, with the six, the three of swords, I feel like this is, um, it's almost like they're trying to grab your attention and show you how hurt they are or how heartbroken it they are take it how it makes sense for you okay so you could yeah you could be moving on with someone else some of you are moving on with someone else but uh, with the ten of cups in your energy right now The universe is guiding you to a special person. Allow everything to take its natural course and receptive. Be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. Uh, yeah, be ready to receive. Be ready to receive this beautiful outcome, this beautiful relationship that is manifesting for you. Um, and... Be ready to also take a risk towards opening up again with that full energy and freeing yourself, freeing yourself from a situation that has just led you to confusion. Okay, four of wands wanted to come out. So I really, I really feel like Libra as you're getting into some sort of relationship sooner than later is what I'm hearing. A very special one, a one that could be long term. And yeah, I feel like you're breaking free. You're breaking free. You're breaking free from what's held you back. You're moving on. 
you're no longer dwelling on the past, no longer um, allowing something or someone to have so much control over you or even your thoughts. It's like you're not allowing negative thinking or um, obsessive thinking to have so much control over you, have so much control over your day, over your energy. No, you're breaking free. Yeah, I'm hearing freedom, freedom, breaking free. It's time, it's time. Somebody has not been, I feel like somebody has not been receptive to you or you're seeing somebody as not being ready for something or very protective over the, their, themselves. Overthinking a situation. Um, I'm seeing you're dealing with somebody who does also have some some baggage, who is dealing with some baggage, who has put some sort of like protective layer over their heart. And um, it's only led you to confusion. But, but now, there's some sort of answer or communication coming in, signs, synchronicities, you're being, uh, Spirit is trying to communicate with you to be receptive or open to new possibilities. Uh, let's take a look at this person around you. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Ten of Swords is how they're feeling, so um, <laughs> not good. They're not doing good. They're not doing good. The, they are feeling like it's over. Ten Ten here. Hmm. Why am I getting someone who's sick, like maybe physically or struggling with something? Mm. This person is resisting letting you go, though. There's a lot of resistance with this person. Um, it's like their heart is still their heart is still connected to you. Are they still? Their heart is still open to you. But their actions is them stalling, procrastinating. It feels like they're um, trying to distract themselves through work or through their job, through their career. They're seeing you as a six of wands. So they're kind of seeing you as on a pedestal or they're seeing you as getting a lot of attention or being successful in your life, being at a place where you are maybe now getting a lot of attention for what you do. A winner. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, they're seeing you really as like in control over your life. Meanwhile, they're not. Like, they're not in control over their life. Okay. Yeah, and so there's... Now you have this door here and you have the key. All you have to do is pick up the key, open the door. See what's on the other side. You're coming uh, face to face with the unknown. And sometimes in life you gotta take risks. What's on the opposite side of this door? Okay. It's on the opposite side of this door. Okay. Libra. I'm seeing with your mindset it's like as I'm trying to see what's on the opposite side of the door I'm being brought back to your your mindset it's like this confusion it's like oh where am I 
what am I doing here? Do I even really want to be here? Um, confusion. And Spirit is trying to show you, show you the way. Yeah, I'm hearing on the opposite side of this door, you're still on the right path. Hmm. Okay. Someone is making an offer. A, a strong offer. Somebody is wanting to work something out with you here. Work with you, collaborate with you. So some of you are coming to a place in your life where um, there's going to be a lot of changes when it comes to your work situation or financial changes. But something is being planned for you. What is this? Yeah, receptive. Spirit is asking you to be receptive of like what's being given to you. It's like you're, they're trying to give you something, but it takes two to tango. It takes you to break free and fully let go and be receptive of the of what people are trying to give you or new opportunities, meeting new people, networking, putting yourself out there. It's like if you don't change or switch this mindset, it's only going to lead you to more confusion. Intense. Okay, trust. Yeah. It feels like there's a situation that is very intense, but you're being asked to trust, have trust. Um, okay, look at that. We have the fool. You have a hard time trusting, Libra. Yeah, I'm hearing trust issues. I feel like there's somebody who is wanting to um, offer you some sort of commitment But you hold yourself back from the very thing that you want because you're afraid of the trust being broken or someone betraying you. With this fool, you know those, um, there's those, what are they, workshops or classes where someone falls back and then you just catch them? It's like that that test of, of trust or putting trust into each other. And it says you need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish, Libra. You need to have trust in your person. You need to have trust in, a, in, um, in other people. Not even like not only in relationships. But even in work situations, you have to learn how to trust people, trust their word. It's better and it's easier than, than putting yourself under all of this stress and confusion of, oh, is this person telling me the truth? Are they going to betray me? Are they going to hurt me? Why put yourself through that stress? What, what, what is meant to be shown to you? The truth will always come out here. If someone is not to be trusted, you will find out without need, even needing to try before the meantime, you need to, it's, it's better for everyone to just have more trust in each other. It's better for you energetically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, energetically. It takes too much energy to look for ways that someone's going to betray you, you know? Be receptive to what people are trying to give you, what people are, not everybody wants to hurt you, Libra. Not everyone wants to hurt you. Okay, this reading got deep. I'm seeing the numbers 3, 10, 10, 5, 0. Those numbers, they could be related to birthdays or special days. But yeah, 10s are the end of cycles. 5 is change. 0 is like the end and the beginning. And 3 is your progress. It's time to progress. It's time to move past um, the idea that everyone's going to hurt you. I'm seeing the letters L, G, H, U, C, and R. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. With that said, the 
that's what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.